friends in today's video we are going to solve the numerical on power budget fiber optics for long communication link i am bhagyashree and welcome to my channel pinnacle if still you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe it to solve this numerical if you are not comfortable or you are not knowing the formula then please watch the video power link budget which is already available on my channel and the link is also available in description for better understanding because in this video we are going to solve only numerical and the theoretical aspects to solve this numerical is available in previous video this example is on power budget measurement for long haul transmission this is the first transmission power 0 dbm then receiver sensitivity minus 28 dbm again i repeat receiver power sensitivity is minus 28 dbm and the connector splices then the distance between the tra transmitter and receiver is 185 km attenuation coefficient for fiber optics cable is alpha 0.25 dbm db per km dispersion coefficient d is 18 picosecond per nanometer kilometer number of splices connected between the link is 46 splice loss is a 0.1 db connector loss 0.2 db these are the given data now we are interested to find if this communication link is good or bad so before finding the answer first we have to consider one another important parameter is power margin power margin means it is a in future if there is any loss is going to be there in your communication system then it is a power margin and it is given 6 db if you are not knowing all the definitions or the significance of these parameters then please refer my previous video on power link budget the link is also available on description box so the question is is this system is good or bad now we will start with simple calculation the first we are interested to find fiber loss so fiber loss is nothing but alpha that is a attenuation db per kilometer which is given in numerical into distance so distance is also given it is a 185 km and your calculation is 46.3 db so this is my total fiber loss for this communication link second is splice loss so number of splices given is 46 and for every splice the loss is 0.1 db so splice loss is 4.6 db this is a total then connector loss as we know we require two connector one is a transmitter side and one is a receiver side so there are two connector and the connector loss is 0.2 db so your answer is 0.4 db now the total loss for fiber loss splices loss and connector loss is 51. 3 db now the next part we have to add add is a p margin power margin it is a 6 db so now prx this is your receiver power is nothing but your transmitted power minus total loss so this is total loss as we know the calculated dbm power is power in a db transmitted power 0 and total loss is minus 51.3 minus 6 so it is a 57. 3 db so this is my received power always remember power budget always greater than or equal to p sensitivity okay so now what is the conclusion it is a bad system because p sensitivity is around 28 okay so how we are going to increase the receiver power so the next question is how we are going to solve the receiver power problem or how we can boost the receiver power so answer is place an amplifier if you are going to place a amplifier it is going to boost your power level and automatically you will get 58 around power for receiver but the first question is where you are going to place the amplifier and what is the gain of your amplifier you have to first find out that answer and then you are capable to place an amplifier so first we have to calculate the amplifier gain so amplifier gain is greater than or equal to p sensitivity minus prx 
that means p sensitivity what is your receiver sensitivity and this is your received power so it is 28 minus 28 minus minus 57.3 please remember that p sensitivity power minus receiver power okay so it is 29.3 db to make it easy we can round off this answer into 30 db so i want amplifier which is going to amplify my power by 30 dB. Now the next question where to put the amplifier. So where you are going to put the amplifier to find the location of amplifier we are having three choices. First choice is a power amplifier which is just before the transmitter means this is transmitter and when you transmitted the power you are going to place a amplifier. Okay. Now next pre-amplifier which is at the receiver means this is your receiver and just receiving the power before that you are going to place your amplifier. Third one is in line or any point along the fiber that means I know that this is a distance where my power is going to degrade so here we are going to place amplifier. So let us check one by one how we can place the amplifier. So first power amplifier is PTX plus gain is nothing but p out okay so gain is a 30 and transmitted power is 0 plus 30 so 30 db okay but is there any power amplifier this is very important question that in a market is there any power amplifier which is going to boost 30 dbm power so no we don't have any power amplifier that level so that means the first option just putting amplifier after transmitter it's cancelled so now the second question or second option is pre-amplifier so remember that when we are checking the power before power receiver then it is minus 57 dbm so again pre-amplifier with 30 db is available of course no but it can take minus 57 dbm so typically the answer is no hence the pre-amplifier second option is also cancelled. Now we are interested to check third option. It is an inline amplifier. So 30 dB gain power amplifier if available here for inline amplifier. But what value it can take? It is typically minus 30 dBm. So your answer is we have to place a inline amplifier. Okay. So now the next question find the location. So the next question is where is the 30 dBm point? Okay. So we know that that uh, power transmitted is 0 dBm. Okay. And losses at that point is a minus 30. So loss at that point is a minus 30 dBm. Okay. Now assume that other losses are 0. Practically the losses are not 0. But to minimize the complexity of calculation we are assuming this point and losses at that point is nothing but a fiber loss okay so it is 30 into attenuation so the attenuation loss alpha into length of that point so we, we are interested to find the length of that point well, alpha attenuation is given 0.25 and point length means where we have to find out that uh, location is 30 divided by 0.25 okay so it is 120 kilometer but 120 kilometer from transmitter so the number of splices if there is a 185 kilometer and 46 splices that means 4 at a 4 kilometer one splice is connected so 120 divided by 4 30 splices in 120 kilometer so splice loss is 30 into 0.13 d so also we have to remember the connector loss at amplifier transmitter so it is we are having a two connectors one is a transmitter and two at a amplifier please remember that this is if we are connecting amplifier then we are adding two connectors so connector loss is a 0.2 db into 3 it is a 0.6 db actually at 120 kilometer so total loss is a fiber loss splice loss and connector loss it is 30 plus 3 plus 0.6 so it is a 33.6 so it is not a good because it is going to be greater than 30 db so that's why we have to find the distance where the 3.6 db is 
less okay so it is a fiber loss length 3.6.25 it is a 14.4 kilometer so 120 kilometer minus 14.4 kilometer it is a 105.6 so let's confirm the answer it is a fiber loss 0 0.25 into 105.6 it's a 26.4 db number of splices it's 27 and the loss splices loss is a 2.7 db total loss is 29.1 db 29.1 is less than 30 db that means that is a correct answer so 1056 kilometer is a good location so this is your answer transmitter splice connector and at 105.6 kilometer you are having amplified to cross check your knowledge please solve this problem that we are having a server a and server b transmitter power minus 15 dbm and this is my power sensitivity at receiver then distance is 500 meter it is using fiber optics is a 850 nm attenuation alpha 8.5 db per kilometer dispersion coefficient is given number of plus price is zero connector loss 0.5 db p margin 2 db so you have to find is this system is good or bad if you like this lecture please answer the numerical if you know the answer then write in comment okay and if you want to solve this numerical then also mention income thanks for listening lecture and best of luck for your insim exam